everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an October gemstone series look um, which is pink tourmaline but there's also opal and there's also morganite so there's a bunch of different stones but today we're going to be doing pink tourmaline which looks like that. It is so stunning. It's a baby pink so I have it right there and then I also have this breast cancer necklace because my mom did have breast cancer, so she's a breast cancer survivor. So right in the middle is the pink tourmaline as well. I wanted to sport that. So yeah, I mean, you could do a morganite look, you could do an opal look, um, but I chose pink tourmaline because I love pink, you guys know that. So we're gonna be playing with um, one palette that's kind of new, but another one that is brand new. So I am excited. Um, yeah, let's just get into the look. So who is an October baby? Let me know down below if you're an October baby. Um, my boyfriend's birthday was October 3rd. My niece's birthday is October 27th. Um, I have a cousin whose birthday is October 15th. Um, her son's birthday is October 14th. Um, trying to think I don't want to leave anybody out yeah I mean October it's Halloween you know so it's it's an it's a great month it really is and of course we celebrate breast cancer awareness in this month so shout out to all of you survivors or anybody you know that has lost their battle to breast cancer don't forget to get your boobies checked out ladies don't forget okay so jumping into the look, um, I have my base on, which I do literally the same thing in every video. Um, I start off with moisturizing my face, priming it, of course, cleansing it, washing it, putting on my toners and all of that. Um, and then I used from NYX, just kind of like this redness, kind of bye bye redness situation that comes in a green bottle um and then foundation wise i used from neutrogena it had 55 sunproof in it which i like because i'm going outside i know i'll have that protection don't forget to put your sun sunscreen on um and then i have concealer on which is from elf it's their 16 hour camo i love that and then i just have powder all over my face to set that which is why I look super mad right now um I didn't want to do all of that because you guys who watch my videos all the time know how that goes but if you're new here hi I'm gonna link right above there's a card like a little eye and you click it and the video will appear and it will tell you how I do my base so moving on to the eyes we're gonna be baking so we're gonna be putting this wet and wild photo focus loose setting powder okay I love this stuff comes in this huge tin and we're, you know just get yourself a beauty blender or it could be um, a smaller beauty blender and you just want to get a nice amount of powder under your eye because you we're gonna be working with pink and you don't want, I mean, it could look cool, but it'll just mess your whole, the whole vibe, the whole makeup up. You have pink. I like to put a thick amount, um, just purely because of the fact that when you wipe it away, you're more insured rather than putting just a light. I see people, they just, some people, they just put like a little light amount and I just feel like I can't put a light amount I have to put a nice thick coating under there okay so how's everybody doing I hope you guys are doing well I really do speaking of doing well or not I um my whole life I've had really bad uh, sinuses 
and allergies. Just recently found out I'm highly allergic to dust mites. Okay. And apparently a rare form of a dust mite. Um, so the new thing now is I have to like vacuum my room like twice a week and just do things that I usually didn't do. I mean, I cleaned my room and everything, but now I have to like do it more vigilantly. Um, so yeah, that's not fun. So it was Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning. No, Thursday morning. Yes, Thursday morning. I woke up with this severe, severe um, just sinus pressure right in here. And then it led for me to have a really bad migraine. And then I was just up chucking the whole morning. But I had the doctor later on that next day and I told him everything. And now I have to do the neti pot, which is like you put this thing and then you go like that and it drains out the other sinus. So I have to do that. I have a bunch of nasal sprays I have to do, but you have to do what you have to do, right? So that's what's been going on with me. I hope you guys are doing better than I'm doing. So anyway, going back into, we're gonna be taking this brand new mimosa palette. I don't know, I picked it up in Ulta like two weeks ago. It's, yeah, mimosa. It's got gorgeous shades in there. Let me just open this. I got one for my cousin for her birthday as well. But look at this. We're going to be playing primarily with this color right up top called Saluti. And they have all different fun names like OJ, Happy Hour, Bottomless, Bubbly, Pop. So I think that's so cute. Okay, so. We're gonna be starting with, I gotta see what's gonna be pairing with that shade. What's this champagne color? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, um, first we're gonna just, to get a transition down, we're gonna be going in with that darker kind of happy hour shade right here. And we're gonna lay that down as a transitional shade. Or you can just, if you don't want to go out and spend crazy amounts of money on new makeup, you can always just get yourself bronzer and just put that within the outer V crease area. So the reason why I'm laying this down first is because I want to create warmth and I want to ground the look. So every look that I'll do that's kind of crazy and colorful. It'll always have some sort of brown in the crease because we don't want to look crazy when we go out. We want it to look like it all works. So I'm going in windshield wiper motions, which is just, you can zoom in on my hand. I'm going back and forth, back and forth in a circular, tiny circular motions okay i'm not going i'm not going like this i'm going like in a circle tiny circles so you just want to make sure that that's nice and blended you can just leave this looking the way it's looking you just want to get that to be and like i said you can just use a bronzer you don't have to go in with this color and if you own a nice bright pink then there you go, I saved you guys money and you don't have to go out and get this palette. <sighs> there is quite a little bit of kickback with that shade, I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, this eye is always lighter than this eye. It always comes out darker because of my setup. Anyway, so for the lid, you're gonna just take your finger, have a makeup remover, uh, nearby but also going with clean hands you guys know that I don't have to tell you and then we're going to take this brand new gorgeous pink tourmaline pop of pink and it's called Saluti it's down at the bottom and it's matte which I like 
and it's just going to give us a beautiful pop. So if you're nervous about working with pinks, definitely, definitely want to lay down that brown because you don't want to look sick. You don't want to look like you have, I know a lot of people, a lot of girls or, or guys are afraid of putting pink down because they're afraid of looking like they have pink eye or, you know, sometimes when you put pink down, you can look tired. But pink actually will make blue eyes pop. It's gorgeous. It'll really look stunning on a multitude of skin tones and eye, eye colors. You just got to make sure that if you are known to have red in your eye, make sure to put some eye drops prior to the look and definitely make sure to put a crease shade like how I did which is brown it'll round that intense pink so going in with a smudger I'm gonna put that same pop of pink down under my eye so this is the part you want to be careful of because it can look like you're tired but like I said you want to do what you have to do beforehand before placing that pink you want to make sure that if you suffer from allergies make sure to take your allergy medicine do your your eye drops you know and definitely place that brown and it'll definitely help you okay so I just wanted to make it look like nice and smoky okay beautiful. I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot to bring over the gems. So I just got to go get those. That's not a big deal. Let me just wipe that intense pink off. Um, okay, so let's close that for a second. Now we're going to be heading into the Pretty Rich palette, which is from Too Faced. I love this guy. I did a review on it in my last video I'll link that right above I do really like it and I love as you can tell the glitters so we're gonna be going in with this one right here which is called diamond glitterati so what we're gonna do it's very highly pigmented as you can tell and look it's just so perfect okay we're gonna go in and place that right light like with a light hand like almost like just feather it on don't drag it on because you're going to lose that that um that beautiful pink that we got going on underneath you want it to look like you have pink but you want it to look like you have like a gorgeous glow going on diamonds okay that's kind of like what we're working with so far and as you can see, the bake is helping us. That's why I put that under my eye. Let me just make sure I have like, okay, that worked. This will look great on green eyes, blue eyes, like I said, and I have like, like a honey amberish eye. So it's, it's gonna look gorgeous on any type of eye. So I don't really want to do like anything super crazy because we're going to be putting gemstones. So let's put that to the side. I'm just wiping my finger. So now let me go grab the gemstones because of course there's always something I'll forget. So BRB. I have it in my um, little Walmart. <laughs> I got it from Walmart. So, okay. It's so strange when something falls and you have no idea why it fell. You're just like, ghost? Is there a ghost? Okay. So, pink tourmaline. We're working with this row right here. 
see, pink, love it. You guys know I love pink. Okay. Just to help you, you might need tweezers, you might not, who knows. And just placing that where I feel like I need it. Okay, I might, I don't know, I might do three outside the eye this time. That's two. Sorry if my nose is running, I'm just, I'm really going through it, guys. Okay, and then, ooh, how pretty. Ooh, ooh, nice. That's pretty. And then I got three over here. Oh. Okay. I don't know why I started with that one out there. I just kind of do as I please. I don't know. I just do whatever. You know that, guys. I just kind of like go with the flow. And you guys know I'm having fun, so it's like not. I think I messed up the way that that should have been placed. It should have been placed a little bit higher. Oh. Okay. Nice. Now it's completely up to you if you want to do eyeliner. Um, you should have did the eyeliner first first and then the gemstones um I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner because everything is just like crazy and intense so we're gonna now focus on some brow bone highlight which you guys know I'm obsessed with flexitarian from Colourpop we're just gonna put that up where the brow bone is and we're also gonna place it in the inner corner of the eye. Okay. Nice. Oops. Okay, that kind of came out super chunky. So be careful. Alrighty. Just, you want to just brighten that inner area. And then you want to just kind of bring it a little bit down. Okay. Nice. So before the video, I kind of just brushed, ran through the eyebrows. Kind of just with... Uh, sometimes I'll use some olive oil with like a toothbrush. Or sometimes you can spray the old kind of toothbrush obviously you don't brush with that toothbrush but um i'll kind of just run through it put it there and i feel like it just kind of makes them stay i have very thick eyebrows so i i don't really feel like doing much to them i'm just going to take a little bit of this it's cashmere with a little bit of don't carrot at all it's these two right here and i just want to kind of bring back that brow that we did that crease I meant to say because it kind of just got a little loss I just want to make sure it's prominent okay and of course you can go back into the the don't not the the diamond glitterati sorry and just kind of more put more on it's really up to you and what you feel is more um what makes you feel comfortable and beautiful going back into the mimosa palette just making sure everything is gonna pop going back into that salute shade and just making sure that we have that nice pop of pink and it didn't go away Okay. 
I know I really should be looking there, but I look here because I need to look into the mirror to see what I'm doing. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you don't want it to look like super crazy. So I think we're gonna stop it there and move on to the rest of the face. So um, we're gonna wipe away that bake and you're going to be amazed because you see all that fallout. We're just going to wipe it away. We're gonna wipe it into the hair. Unbelievable, okay. So I also like it because it creates just that sharp, just, it makes everything super sharp. Okay, stunning, love it. Okay, I love it. And then you could always just kind of like, look and kind of tweak everything. So next is going to be some type of contour because right now my face is just this round sort of potato. So we need dimension. So I'm going in with something that's more warm based uh, because we do have that cool pink tourmaline shade we're playing with. So we're going in with Give Me Sun from MAC. I love this stuff. Highly recommend this bronzer. If you do not own it, you need it suck those cheeks and tip of ear and it'll kind of just tell you where to go a little bit of the temple push into the top of the hairline ears I should have put my hair up it's annoying me and then temples. Don't forget to get the hairline, like I said. You could contour your nose at this point. I like to just put it a little bit at the tip of my nose because it kind of looks like I got color and you want to make sure to go down the jawline, down the neck, ears. Don't forget all these spots. <laughs> We're just doing like a rough contour. So, just trying to warm the face up, which is super important when wearing makeup like this. Okay. Now, what I love about the next thing I'm gonna do is it's it's something that's super, it's not versatile, but it's something that you don't have to like run out and get a new blush. You can actually just make it work with the Mimosa eyeshadow palette. So there is a shade in here called Bottomless and it is right here and it will be the most gorgeous blush ever. Or you can you know, run out and get yourself a blush. I am just gonna take the same brush we just used and just pop some nice pink onto the apples and down the nose with that bottomless shade. See, it's just a beautiful pink and it's just, I love it because you don't have to like run out and get a million different products. It's all right in there. Okay, so next is going to be, we're gonna spray the face with e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set. I'm spraying it now because I like to do that before I do mascara, lips, and highlight. Um, just because I feel like it stays better throughout day. And also after you've, you know, sprayed your face, it acts as something for the glitter to stick more to. So we can put a little bit more right in the middle.
I love it. Okay. So next, we're going to work with mascara. I like from Thrive Cosmetics. I highly recommend this. If you feel like you struggle with your eyelashes and or if you feel like you don't even have eyelashes I say definitely I recommend to go out and purchase this um, I have long eyelashes but I just love the effect it gives it just makes me look like I have false eyelashes on and it's just super easy and quick I'm sorry for like the makeup faces I make and the open mouth and I don't know why we do. It's just the natural thing to do. Okay. My see and my eyelashes they sort of tend to bunch up. So I have to like focus. That's why mascara for me takes like a million years. But I really like this because, I don't know, it just grabs it, elongates it, and you're good to go. Highly recommend it. Highly. 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 I'll fix the mascara offhand. Like these little like they're not hiccups I don't know what it is but if you hear me like going like that like I have no idea it's like a a mini hiccup thing I don't know what's happening with me between the sinus the migraines Okay, you see, it just kind of cuts my mascara time in half because usually I would just, for like 20 minutes, just put mascara on. Does anybody else have the same problem? And I'm sorry, I'm zhuzhing my hair around a million times. Usually I would have put my hair up and I don't know, I'm kind of just like all over the place today. So, all right, next is gonna be highlighter. You guys know I love this Lumi Shimmerista from L'Oreal. I talk about this like in every video. I love it. It's so finely milled that it looks scary, but when it comes on, when it just like, see it looks scary and intense, and that is because it's highly pigmented, but you can form it to where you need it, and it just looks like beautiful skin. See? Oh my god, I'm obsessed. 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 You can use it as like an illuminating sort of under the eye to get a, rid of like dark under eye circles. I like to do that sometimes too. And then it kind of just lays right on the cheek. See? It's so pretty. Oh my god gives you that like movie star glow but if you're oily an oily person I wouldn't just be placing it all over the face but if you are someone that likes to look dewy then I would just sort of set uh, the t-zone and where you need to set your face so we're gonna go in and line the lips with strip down from Mac It's like a chestnutty, warm shade. You can fill your lips in if you'd like. Now for the cohesive pink vibe, you could just kind of go in with Max Myth, Max Honey Love, it's up to you, Max Creme de Nude, or any drugstore lip gloss, it doesn't matter. But I'm going in with Saint Germain from MAC. Oh yeah, cause 
Go big or go home, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love it. And then, if you're like a gloss person like me, I'm sorry, my nose. I'm going in with Eclair from NYX. Love these butter glosses. I have them everywhere. And that's just going to give us this purpley pink lip vibe. And that's it. That's the look. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Um, you can kind of just tweak it, go back in. Let me just add more pop in that corner. But yeah, this is the look. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I try to make these looks kind of wearable. Like, you wouldn't really look crazy if you decided to wear this. You know, like people, if anything, would be like, wow, it looks really cool. Right? Okay. I love it. I think it's so pretty. So that is the finished look i think i do i personally think it is wearable um obviously you don't have to wear these gemstones it's just for the gemstone series um but i think just the eye look alone you could wear it to a baby shower birthday party your own birthday party um yeah I think if you kind of toned down the amount of pink and the amount of glitter, it would look really pretty. Even if you were just going to school. Trust me, I was one of those. I was wearing eye makeup like this at school, okay? Um, or work or whatever, you know, or a Halloween costume. Like, let's say you're trying to be a mermaid, right? super mermaid-ish like you could leave the pink and then you can interchange the gemstones and do like pink teal pink or pink teal diamond and go on with your your mermaid look i think it's so pretty i'm just gonna do one more thing i'm gonna take my fairly light in 03 from bare minerals and I'm just going to just ensure that things are gonna stay. So I'm going over my under eyes, corner of the eye, cause I get pigment. Like I get like a pigmentation in there around the nose. And this is just gonna ensure that your makeup is gonna just last even more. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You could just spray and go but sometimes if I use a spray and it's super abrasive, it kind of moves my makeup around. So I like to go back in with a powder that I know that's going to keep everything in place. Okay. I don't know, I just think it just airbrushes and buffs everything and makes it look like you have like movie star skin go around the nose and around the mouth did you see what i just did? i said go around the nose go around the mouth okay you guys know you guys know what i mean okay so i'm just trying to make sure everything is blended i think it looks blended and that's it that's the look Alrighty, guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the support and just all the kind words. And you guys know that I love you. And um, thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, um, any concerns, just anything, just leave it down below. And I'll be sure to answer it. But I love it. Alrighty. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe. 
don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. I love you.